For the first time this year, Michigan High School Athletic Association member schools are submitting reports about potential concussions during practices and games. The preliminary results from the fall sports season, with 99% of schools reporting, revealed that 2% of over 100,000 student athletes were concussed, an average of 3.2 per school. The reports provide a wide range of information. We are receiving general information about the age, grade, and gender of the students involved, whether the injury occurred in practice or competition, and whether it was early or late, what sport was involved, and what level of competition. It's an approach which also involves a pilot sideline concussion testing program and concussion insurance to cover costs unpaid by other policies. As we combine all of this information and collect it year after year, we begin to get data that is very useful to those who write the playing rules for school sports, for those who make the protective equipment for school sports, and for organizations like us who develop the policies and procedures for practices and competition. 62 schools are taking part in a pilot sideline detection program doing in-game testing of athletes with suspected concussions after baseline tests were conducted in the preseason. The pilot programs are providing us much more detailed information about the circumstances of injuries that have occurred in our pilot schools. And we are also learning how to make the sideline concussion detection systems and tools easier to use at the interscholastic level. Predictably, football and soccer, with more than half of the fall's participants, had 90% of the concussions reported. And while football gets the most headlines about concussions, the MHSAA is taking a broader view. These three initiatives, like almost all that we do at the MHSAA, are for all sports and all levels of sports, both genders. We have to be concerned about more than just football. We have to be concerned about all sports. And we are concerned about more than just contests. We're concerned about practices as well. Roberts looks forward to the accumulation of data for the rest of this year and beyond. We will have much more to report at the end of the school year. And eventually, we'll be generating data that will provide valuable year-over-year -year comparisons. And that will be the payoff. That's when our school sports will become still safer. This is John Johnson in East Lansing.